Hey everyone, Wander B here, and welcome back to, uh, uh, Hollow Bee. No, I don't know. I just saw the honeycombs and I'm like, I gotta make a, hun uh, a Wander Bee joke, even if it's not a good one. Alright, anyway, uh, let's, let's go up and back and forth, back and forth, and we'll be good to go. So, um, got a couple of places to go. I said I was gonna go to the ancient basin, and I'm still committed to that. However, I'm gonna take a short detour just because I did promise to go find a secret room in the Crystal Peaks that I totally keep forgetting about. Uh, at this point, I'm also going to admit I've got um, I've got a map open and a comment uh, specifically outlining where some of the stuff I missed is. So uh, what we're going to be doing is, you know, seeing as we're getting closer and closer to the end game, I want to I want to make sure that we have. Uh, I want to make sure that I have everything. Not be, be not because I have to, but just because it's nice to have everything, if that makes sense. You know, I, I want to hunt of this game, at least uh, to some degree. So let, let me pull up this uh, specific comment. Okay, here we go. Uh, actually I actually had two offers for the things that I've missed, though I'm not entirely sure... Um... I'm not entirely sure if they're right. Okay. So I gotta I gotta pull up the inventory. Okay, so we've actually only got one vessel piece left, which can be gotten from the seer. Uh and then we got three mask pieces left. This is from Eduardo B. So one vessel piece from the seer, one mask piece from the seer, one from the stone sanctuary and green path, and one in the resting grounds in the secret. We'll we can get all of them here. Like we we can get them almost immediately. So let's uh let's start by getting uh the charm over here called deep focus. Whoops. Why did I I thought I was gonna hit so I just canceled it and then I realized wait a second that's a stupid idea. Anyway, I love the fact that we have the hive charm hive blood charm. It it makes dangerous platforming so much easier because there's usually a cooldown before you run into whatever kills you. Uh, which means largely consequence free uh platforming. And I can save my, uh, I can save my soul power for thing, for times when I actually, you know, need it. Which feels so good. Anyway, yeah, let's go, let's go find this, uh, this secret. It's directly below me, I can't believe I never found it. I guess I just never checked. I have no idea. Um, but this will just make my life easier. I wonder if there's a way to kill these crystal bugs. That's an interesting question. Okay. Some drawbacks to the hive blood system is obviously it doesn't work all the time. Okay, we don't want to do anything there. Let's check the map. Um Holy crap. They had a miner there to let you know. That's kind of incredibly cool. Okay. Can't believe that worked. Okay, so this has got to be the shortcut back, yeah? Let's just avoid touching those rocks even though I'm not. Ah. Deep focus. All right. Anyway, let's bench warp. There's no reason to stick around here. I think I've gotten every worm in the area. I got a lot of shit from people, uh, uh, specifically because, uh, I when I got the collect when I beat the collector, um, I made a comment to the extent of, oh shoot, is there? Oh, we might actually have a couple of worms here. Let's. Let's pull this open. Yeah, um, so I, I made a comment to the extent of, you know, there, I haven't missed a whole lot of worms, and there, and a lot of people are like, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, you have. Look at all these worms that you've missed. So I've missed that one. I've missed that one. Haven't missed that one. I don't even know how to get there. Uh, holy crap! Do we only have four worms left? Yeah, I guess we're going full, full completionist. We're gonna get every worm, 
Uh, we're gonna get every mask piece. So let's um, let's go to the seer next, and then let's go worm hunting. Okay, so we want to go to the is it, it's the resting grounds actually. Huh. Okay. So, yeah, we got a couple of things to do while we're here. So let's go talk to the seer. I think I've got enough soul power that we we can afford some things here. But yeah, so I've got the full map system right now. There's not a whole lot that the map can spoil at this point, just where a couple of graves are, uh, how to get to some of these secrets. Okay. Ah, Wielder, you've returned. Let me have a look at the dream now. So, you already have 700 essence. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. That lock of theirs, desperate but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 1,000, come back and visit me. Alright. Alright, so... There's the first- there's the last soul thing. Did I...? Jesus. Okay, so the- the next mask shard is 1,300, so that's gonna... That's gonna cost some- or take some effort. Okay, so we're gonna- we're gonna drop down. All the way, we're gonna go into that secret zone. With those, like, horrible big dudes. Uh, cause apparently we've got a... We've got a secret chamber that we totally miss here. That has some stuff in it. Oh, these guys are way less dangerous than they used to be. Okay. So if you keep... Yep, here it is. I don't know if I could have found that, or... I don't know. Whatever, here we are. So this is a secret room that we missed. And, yeah, this is why I have the map open. While I would like to stick around, or while I would like to find all this stuff on my own, to some degree, I don't know if I would be able to. And so this is a lot easier than the alternative, which is never finding it ever again, or relying on people telling me, telling me where, where to go. I'm not gonna look at the Queen's Gardens, though. Hello. Mehan, this world, this cruel, sinful world, why does she wake? Why does she persist? Ah, La Mer, you could not know of tragedy as complete as Che's. True lovers ripped apart, two worlds that could not meet. And now, Meled lover, dead so long in time, dead so far away, buried, Moina. Aye, amongst its hateful kin, that did deny our union, that did reject reject Che's outsidedness. She doesn't suppose Nalo Nalo. Could she ask? Could she burden? La Mer, wouldst you wouldst you deliver gift to her grave? The gift is maybe small, but the trek is long. She wrestle amongst her kind near our queen's lush refuge. Would such a thing be done? She asks perhaps impossible things. Mad things? For Le Maire to take up such quest would be a kindness Che has long forgotten. Sure. We got the delicate flower. Rare boon you grant Le Maire. This will be Che's last request. After this, never shall Che lay burden on another. A sacred flower is the offering. It's a rare, delicate object. One of a kind. You must cherish it. You must act as though it were your own heart. If you were to get hurt while carrying it, or did attempt to ride those jolting transit meese, it'd be forever destroyed. Her grave lies in the middle of the Queen's overgrown estate, is surrounded by her kind, who will not look kindly on your trespass. Take care, La Mer. My hopes I place upon you, and my fervent wish that this small solace may come to pass. Wait. What? <laughs> Hold on. So I can't take damage.
I... Ha. Huh. Okay. So, Grey Mourner time. Um... I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do this on the first run, but we have a thing thing that we can do. So here's what we're gonna do. We gotta make the run. Without taking d damage. Actually, you know what? No, 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 no. Well, I guess I can take damage or not. Let's try and do it safely. Okay. So we wanna go... Honestly, we wanna go straight to the left. We have those little explodey birds that are scary. But that's fine. Anyway, so we want to go to the blue lake if I can make it. Okay. So next up we've got these guys. Now, here's the thing. I can... I can avoid combat as much as I want. As long as I don't get hit while doing it. I have no idea which is... Okay, I think we want to go this way. I don't know what's in Blue Lake. Oh. Again, we meet my short friend. Here at last, I feel at peace. Twice I've seen this world and... Through my service, may have stripped the first experience from... Though my service may have stripped the first experience from me. I'm thankful I could witness its beauty again. Hollow Nest is a... Vast and wondrous thing, but... In as many wonders as it holds, I've seen none quite so as intriguing as you. Ha. Huh. My flattery returns only silent stoicism. I like that. I like that very much. Incredible. To live an age, yet remember so little. Perhaps I should be thankful. All tragedy erased. I see only wonders. Oh, this is really charming. I don't think he says anything, though. Sadly. Goodbye, dude. Alright. So I think there's still some bugs that show up around here, so I gotta be a little careful. Anyway. Oh, shoot. I can't check my map while we're... While we're here, should be should be fine. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kill my way there. Even if I lose the flower, we can come back. It said one of a kind. See, I had to look that up to see if it was one of a kind or if I should figure out how to... If I should... Wow. I made the game lag. It is a pretty hefty special effect, though, so it doesn't surprise me too much. Um... But yeah, so we're just going to kill our way there and at least try and make it work. Okay, so we're going to be at the base of the Forgotten Crossroads. Now we want to get from where we are at the left side of the Blue Lake, straight left. Probably down into the city of... T oh, no, we can't go out that door. So I'm going to have to go up uh, into the Forgotten Crossroads. That's going to be a problem. All of this is going to be a problem. I mean, the other option is we go down into the City of Tears, go... Keep going down? I think there's a door, that door right there where the elevator is will open. We just gotta make it over here somewhere. Uh, see where the, uh, stag and the bench is? It's right there. I, I looked it up. Or more per se, I didn't look it up so much as somebody said that first. And I was like, no, I needed to know if this is like a serious problem that I have to worry about. The answer is, I had no information. Well, it's fine. Not everything works out. We've also got some other things that we need to do. Okay, now I assume she's still losing her goddamn mind. Yeah, four more charms and we can get my blessing. I have no idea what her blessing is, but that'll be... Actually, does that mean... I want to... Oh. Let's see, inventory? No. We want to do charms. Okay. Oh. Well, yeah, go figure. Four more and we're done. Why is my game lagging today?
Oh, you know what? Let's go back a bit. My main issue is with my game lagging the way it is, it's a little bit sketchy. I don't know why it would be, though. Okay, I want to hit this one with the dream nail. Dear, dear, I really must hold it together. Must appear calm, but this creature is just divine. Nah, that's an interesting... Little point. My hard drive's having trouble. Shouldn't be. I don't know, maybe my computer's having trouble. Oh. He suicide rushes. Okay, gonna just avoid that. Ah, oh, these things suck. Oh. Okay, maybe not everybody is corrupted around here. Maybe if we take the low roads, we'll be fine. I feel like this is incorrect. Okay, so now we're going to the City of Tears elevator. I assume we want to take that. Yeah. And honestly, this is actually a relatively safe route. Judging by it. My only fear is going through Fog, Fog Canyon is always a bit sketchy. I don't know. I'll keep thinking. There's probably better ways to go through here. But the other thing is, like, even if I do fail, all I have to do is kill everything and this door does not open. Damn it! Anybody know if there's, like, a way to get that open? I presume there is. I just don't, don't know what it would be. Okay. So we're gonna have to go back and around. And this is where it gets dangerous. The Corrupted Crossroads is actually, or Infected Crossroads, is actually one of the more dangerous areas in the game. Because I'm not used to it. I don't know what's here. I haven't spent a whole lot of time exploring this area. So, if you were to ask me, like, do it, so I know what to watch out for. My answer would be nope. If we're lucky, it stays fairly benign, save for the, like that sucker. Oh crap! Okay, we run. Holy crap! Yeah, those guys are no good. Ah, got it. Alright. Flower is destroyed. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go back and let's, uh, let's murder these guys so they don't cause problems. Yeah, so here's what we're gonna do. We are going to murder everything. As long as I don't rest at a bench or leave the game, we're golden. Though, honestly, with the way things are going, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I can close some programs. I have no idea what's causing my computer to lag, but I, I need it to stop. Okay. So I got that. Uh, I'm just gonna go through this area quick. It's not that damage really worries me. What we need to do is effectively just wipe out every enemy here. Or at least all the hard ones. We're not going to be able to wipe out every enemy, but we can at the very least wipe out every single one that's going to chase me, that's going to harm me. Okay, think I got it? Well, it doesn't feel like we're chugging as hard here. So I have I have no idea what exactly triggered that, but I think we're I think we're golden now. Yeah, so uh most hard enemies don't respawn, just kind of the basic little buggers. So this guy respawns. I don't know if he used to, but he's barely threatening. As long as I'm not like, um... As long as I'm not like gutsing it through things, we'll be perfectly fine. Be nice if there's a way to throw in like some kind of temporary invulnerability or something like that. I was actually commenting... I'm just gonna kill these guys. 
Uh, and just stay out of the way. Uh, uh, there was somebody commenting that they were hoping that fighting, um, uh, fighting Hornet. A second time around would actually uh, unlock like a block move for you. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but it would have been really cool if uh, we would have finally gotten like some kind of block and counter co combination. That would be really sweet. But at the same time, I can totally understand why block wouldn't be in the cards for this character. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm taking so much damage. It's all my fault, too. Okay. Um. So, we've gone this way. I guess we can go up to the hot springs. You know, I don't think I've been to this hot springs in a while. I mostly just wanted to see if there were, like, dudes hanging out here. I actually really wish there were more hot springs spread, at, uh, spread throughout the entire game. Like, they were kind of an interesting feature early on. Huh. Were these guys here earlier? I have no idea. Okay. So, we can go down into the fungal waste or we can go down into Fog Canyon. Which is faster? Um... Honestly, correction. Uh, fungal waste is, waste is safer. That's the real... That's the real trick here. Uh... Yeah. I mean, again, if I just kill everything, we're good. Okay, perfect. And as far as I can tell on the map, both are kind of equal, equidistant, but fungal waste just in general is probably going to be fairly secure. Also got a comment asking me to try out a build. Got to remember to put that on. That might be uh, that might be in an episode or two. Kind of depends, just because I'm very goal or oriented right now. And while there are probably some amazing builds out there, uh, I am kind of perpetually focused on my goals. Okay. Uh. So we don't go to Fog Canyon. I'm just trying to make sure we don't have any of those like homing bomb critters hanging out. Those guys suck. Okay. There's these guys. Mush... Goodbye, Mushroom Head. Those guys don't hurt me. I think we're good. I, I'm, I'm kind of in this, like, weird position of, like... I'm trying to remember exactly my way through. Can't believe... Let's see. Yeah, it looks like it looks like they do die. Okay. I just wanted to make sure they did. Well, we actually have no idea if they came come back, but I wasn't sure if they were going to regenerate on me. For whatever reason, they gave off that initial impression, and it was a bit sketch. Oh right, the gas. I always forget forget about the gas. Okay, so yeah, we're still gonna have those balloon guys. We just gotta get through. Just a little bit further and then we turn right back around and try again. <laughs> I'm gutsing it so hard, or not even gutsing it, I'm just like, eh, I take damage, whatever. I heal. This honeycomb thing is going to be the death of me, sort of. Okay, so let's go into the fog canyon. I think this is the easiest, fastest way over. Let's see, so we're... On the low part. Fungal waste. If I go that way, that's the, um... Let's see. Oh, hey! I knocked him into the... bar. Okay. Damn it. 
There we go. I don't need to kill these guys, but I'm doing it mostly out of sol not solidarity. Mostly because I'm silly. Okay, so we go this way. Let's pull this open. Uh so we're here, we're over here. Yeah, it should be just a quick jaunt over. It'd be great if I could get rid of the thorns. I wonder if you can also earn the respect of the flying mantis people. That's an interesting question. I don't know about that one. I gotta remember I can't bench warp back, no matter how much I want to. Because bench warping is 100% a no-go. Should probably get rid of that corpse. Ow. Stupid lag spikes. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I'd screw it up or not. Uh, but it's one of those where I could. And if I can, then I'd better avoid it. Hey. Yeah. Uh, before I'm done with this game, I absolutely need to make sure that I've gotten every journal entry and, and we're gonna do uh, maybe maybe at the very very end of this game, honestly. Uh, maybe at the very end of this game, I'm gonna do a reading of the entire Hunter's Journal. Just because it would be kind of cool. Because, I don't know. I'd like to hear it all. Okay, so where is it? Oh, right. We're not going into the bottom of this room. We're going through the top. I can brain. Sometimes. Yeah, I forgot that I actually have a, a top route here. Now, remind me again. Stagways don't res reset enemy spawns, do they? Problem is, I can't risk it. Okay, I think we're in the right spot. Here sleeps the traitor's child. Oh, God. This is gonna suck. Not only because I have to get out of it right now, actually, getting out of this right now, it's comparatively kind of easy. Well, this is going to be, uh, fun. Okay. So here's the question. Do we have to walk all the way back or whatever? Let's, let's read. Any damage will break the flower. Someone else found an easier way to do it. You kill all the enemies on your route. None of the big ones will respond unless you rest at a bench or quit out of your game. It's all platforming after that. Okay, so I can I can use the stag way. Good, because I do want to get back relatively quick. Oh, wait, what? Stag way this way. Oh yeah, huh. I always thought the stag way was up high. Stupid lag spikes. I don't know what's up with my game today. Or is it my computer? Or me. A little bit of all three? I mean, if I actually bothered to, like, slow down and do this right, this wouldn't be so dangerous. But I'm not reacting well. And the game certainly isn't. Okay, so yeah. We don't rest at a bench. We just talk to the stag. And that should work in our favor. Okay. I tire so easily now, and my old legs seem to ache more and more. Still, I'm lucky to grow old at all. So many others haven't. Yeah, so he's, he's just old. That's okay. Alright, so let's go back to the resting grounds. This will confirm whether or not the enemies, uh... The enemies respawn or not, based on the stag way. I don't think they should. It'd be pretty weird if they did. Also, uh, somebody solved the uh, mystery as to why Cornifer, uh, uh, why Cornifer was gone from the Queen's Gardens. Apparently, getting the King's Mark, I believe it was, uh, locked him off, or made it so he went home and slept.